بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Okay, so um, the last week, if you remember, Alhamdulillah, we have completed the, um, uh, all of the conditions and descriptions related to the substance. And today, inshallah, we're going to uh, um, uh, speak about the accidentals. And as I said you, as I told you before, sorry, so uh, there are nine accidentals, okay, and one Jawhar and um, nine Arab. Okay, Arab is an accidental. Okay, just to remind you, just for last time, the substance is something which uh, can exist uh, with no any condition. Means, uh, for its existence, it doesn't need any um, extra condition. Okay, so that's uh, the substance. But accidental is something which is existence is depending on the existence of something else. Okay, for example, uh, the most common example that you gave also. Uh, so, for example, a paper. Paper is substance, but the color of the paper is an accidental. So, how many accidentals do we have? I say in terms of the details of the accidental, so that is over 30. So, something about 36 or 37. But all of them will come back to be in nine different types. Okay. Uh, keep in your mind that I gave you the description of jinns, nawa, and fard. So today I will be using this terminology quite often. So make sure that you understand it. <clears throat> so the first accidental that we are going to talk about is the quantity. Okay. So when I say quantity, I do not mean liters and kgs or numbers. Okay. But quantity means anything, any accidental which could be compared to another accidental of the same type, the same Nawa, in terms of being more, less, or equal. Okay? So, if you remember the last week, some of the brothers, um, uh, for example, asked ask about the uh, color being uh, in, in the quantity. So, I said that it cannot be. Okay? But then, uh, now we do have some certain equipments, some... Um, uh, technology which can measure the uh, strength of the color. So, for example, some black could be darker than another color. So, I say, look, there are two different things. The color being measurable, it can be only when color will be, uh, will be uh, expressed by something which is included into the accidental of the quantity. But it in itself, uh, color, we said it is kefiya, so it never can be measured. Okay, by another way, for example, uh, uh, brown color, for example, brown color could be darker or lighter, but then it's being more or less, it depends on the substance which is increased in this uh, color, brown color, or decreased. And as I told you before, so substance is uh, the matter of the quantity, but color is not. So we could uh, measure the color only because of increasing and decreasing, not of the color, but of the substance which is holding the color. Okay, so just keep it in your mind. So what is the quantity? I say quantity, it is an accidental which could be measured by another accidental of the same type in terms of being more or less or similar, uh, equal. Okay, so that is the um, accidental. <clears throat> um, and further, they do uh, divide the, I mean, the accidental of the quantity into uh, different, I mean, two different types. And we are not going to go there that deep, okay? Uh, because inshallah, um, uh, after completing our maqalat, we have another book which is coming. So this is philosophy, and the next book is uh, going to be in the theology. After theology, we will come back to the philosophy to dig into the ten statements even more to derive all of the philosophy from them, ten uh, funda fundamental statements. So anyway, so that is the uh, uh, meaning of the. Uh, quantity. So, <clears throat> um, if you remember the last week, I gave you also an example in terms of, uh, um, in terms of, uh, for example, this uh, uh, page. 
So quantity of this page, quantity of this page, it will start from the dot, which is non-separatable uh, um, atom, according to the Muslims. Okay, but the um, uh, ancient Greeks they do not accept that non-separatable dot. If you remember, so that is the first element of the quantity in this matter, and the second element is lion. Okay, this lion. Okay, so that is the one dimension. Okay, and when you will see the flat side of the uh, of the. Uh, uh, page so then it became two dimensions so now you can uh, compare the page in two dimensions so that is the quantity okay and as soon as we will uh, include the depth of the uh, page we say now it is three dimensions and you can include the quantity of the page in 3d so that is actually the uh, statement of the quantity so that is about uh, quantity the next is the uh, statement of the kefir. So, what is the kefir? Um, kefir is uh, not the... Um, uh, okay, so we uh, call it, maybe in English, we call it as position. What is the kefir? So, kefir, it is uh, some uh, accidental which will describe the position or the status of the matter but independently. When we say independently, it means the, uh, uh, um, not in uh, uh, comparison with another matter. So, for example, um, I, if when I say big, so it is a position or status, because it is big means there is small also, or there is bigger also. So when I say big, it is nothing to do with the kefir. Why? Because big is the status of the matter in comparison with another matter. So that is not kefir, but kefir is when um, the uh, position or the status of the substance in itself will describe that substance. For example, I say color. Okay? Or um, uh, I say, um, uh, for example, um, uh, cold. For example. And uh, in terms of the cold and colder, hot, etc., so that we say a substance will be engaged again back to the uh, 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 kefir to express that extra meaning. And that is out of the discussion about the kefir. Um, um, I hope everyone is understanding. We have some questions. Um, <clears throat> so, for example, uh, uh, let, let's, uh, uh, let's give you some uh, more examples. Um, when I uh, will say to you that I am ill, okay, so when I'm saying to you I am ill, so it is expressing or describing the uh, 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 position of the substance which is me. Okay, but then when I say when I say ill, so is it describing me in uh, comparison with someone else or not? I say no. But if I will say I am better healthy, I mean I'm healthier. So then this er or er will actually engage the you can say uh, relativity. So relativity is another accidental. Inshallah, we are going to talk in the next chapter. But in terms of the um, uh, st statement of the kefir, we say it is the status of the matter, substance in itself, without making it to be uh, uh, compared to another matter. And as soon as you will give the description of the matter in comparison with another matter, we call that statement as relativity. Okay, that is the next uh, um, uh, next statement, uh, which we call in Arabic language al Um uh, For example, um, uh, when you, uh, uh, for example, Ibn Sina in his uh, uh, text, he gives um, uh, the um, uh, example of a master. Okay, so we say master is description, okay, because let's say that I am a slave, okay, slave, uh, and I have a master, 
Okay, so me being slave, it has two meanings. One is the meaning of substance, and one is the meaning of uh, being attached to someone, or you can say relativity. How? So I am, in terms of being a human being, I'm substance. But I am, in terms of being slave, means slave of someone. Why? Because I say, uh, you can imagine me being human being without imagining anything extra. But you cannot imagine me being slave without imagining my master. So we say the first is substance and the second is relativity. Okay, so without knowing the connection between them two uh, relativities, which is accidental, you cannot accept that it is accidental or substance. Um, uh, I hope everyone is understanding. Um, okay. Uh, or another example also they, they give. For example, um, uh, for example, um, uh, we say big. Okay, so uh, you cannot uh, imagine something being big if you do not compare it to another substance. For example, I will say to you, big apple. Okay, so let's suppose you are living in the world, in the planet, in which there is only one um, apple. So the concept of big does not exist, I mean, does not exist for you. Okay, so big, small, bigger, smaller, that concept does not exist for you. Why? Because um, we will have that accidental if there are two um, uh, matters, substances, and the, between them some relativity. Two apples. Okay, so one is bigger and one is smaller, or all of, both of them are very similar. So only then this accidental will get engaged into your, you can say, um, uh, mind. Okay, so, uh, and if you remember, we as Ahlul um, Sunnah uh, wal Jama'ah, so it is just on the footnote, okay, it's nothing to do with the philosophical statements. So, we as, um, uh, we as Ahlul um, um, Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we do not accept the concept of Allah being big in size. Why? Because that is impossible for God. So when we say Allahu Akbar, Allah is bigger, we do not translate it as bigger in size. Why? Because for Allah to be bigger, we should have another, another God who should be smaller, okay? which is impossible logically. So God being bigger, it's not the literal meaning, but metaphoric meaning. So we say accidental of relativity of big, of God being big does not exist. Okay, so I can say this man is big. I say fine. Why? Because there is another, you know, a lot of other people who are smaller than this person. So the concept of relativity, it can exist only with the matter in, in, in where there is the meaning of relativity. Means there is another matter of the same type. So you can compare one to the other. So son. For example, maybe according to maybe Christians may disagree with us. So son, father cannot be implemented on God because there is not any relativity between God and anything else. Because there is only one God which cannot be uh, related or we, who cannot have any relativity. Okay, so that is um, uh, th this um, uh, masala. As well as another thing in terms of a time. Inshallah, we are going to talk about the time further down, inshallah. So in terms of time, I say it was fast, quick. So I say a concept of being quick will exist only if you are comparing the movement of that substance with movement of another similar substance. Okay? So it is another accidental which needs relativity for it to exist okay so can you imagine you are living in some planet where nothing moves except you okay so then you wouldn't understand if i would come to your planet okay or if i would give you a bell on the phone saying actually you are very slow so that person, or you living in that plant, you wouldn't understand what's the meaning of being slow or uh, fast. Why? Because we say, 
um, it is the accidental of the relativity. So accidental of the relativity cannot exist without having two or more substances of the same type having that accidental. So then there will be some relativity between them two substances. So I hope everyone is understanding. And the same thing, maybe another example also. Um, for example, I will say to you, brother, okay, and you live in a planet in which you live on your own. Okay, so then I'm again emailing you saying, um, are you a brother? So you wouldn't understand what's the meaning of brother. Why? Because brother is also accidental. Brother is also accidental, which is following the relativity, the concept of relativity. So it cannot exist without having another brother. So if you and your brother would be in that planet, you would understand. But if you are born there and spent all of your life and you don't know anyone else, any human being, so then the concept of brother, father, mother, all of that does not exist. Why? Because it is the uh, um, accidentals of, or descriptions, you can say, accidentals of the relativity which belongs to substances who, which has two or more, you can say, uh, examples in the real life. So that is about the relativity. <clears throat> um, I am going to start the next uh, uh, statement about the space. Uh, please, um, I, I will give you five minutes right now to ask me a question about the uh, previous three um, uh, accidentals. So relativity, and the position and the quantity. Yeah, you are free to ask me now. Um. Okay. What is the temperature? <clears throat> okay, so definitely temperature uh, based on the uh, uh, uh I'm sorry, it is on kefiya. Okay, um, as well as you can take it on two different ways. So it is from one side, it is relativity. Why? Because temperature has uh, uh, temperature doesn't belong to only one substance because you can measure the temperature of many substances means you can measure them, compare them. So there is relativity. So we say, I say it is idafa, but temperature in itself being hot or cold or warm in itself without being hotter or colder than something else, I say it is kefiya. No, when we say it's impossible for God, means our brain necessitates that its existence cannot be there. That's the meaning of impossibility. Um, it doesn't mean that God wills for himself, because you are talking about Shara'i impossibility, but in philosophy and the theology, we normally speak about logic impossibility. Because not yet we did reach to the, uh, um, uh, to the foundations of the metaphysics. We are yet in the foundation of the philosophy. Okay, so we need to do after the um, philosophy, foundation of philosophy, we need to do the foundation of theology. And after that, we'll talk about what we're talking about. Yes, th third one is relativity, yes. Idafa, being attached, being attributed to something, means um, uh, one uh, status or description of one substance being more, less, or equal uh, in terms of, I mean, in comparison with something similar. So that is relativity, yes. <clears throat> Okay, so two more questions. Mm. 
MashaAllah. Asking means understanding. Good. Okay, so if not any questions, so let's go to the next statement. Okay, so the next statement of the accidental is Ayn. Ayn is in Arabic language, the literal meaning of Ayn means where. So it is the statement of the space. So, according to us, space is an accidental. There are two meanings of the space. Space, for example, now I am sitting on the chair. So chair is a substance, but space, chair is not a space. What is the space? Space is a description of me occupying some emptiness. Okay, so uh, my space right now is the emptiness which is heating my skin. Okay, so that is my space. So this um, uh, sofa is not space, philosophical space. But philosophical space, for example, uh, now I am holding my cup. Okay, so what is the space of the cup? I say the surrounding emptiness which is heating the walls of the, uh, of the cup. So that is the space of the cup. Okay, so my hand, is it a space? I say that is in language, but in philosophy that is not a space. Okay, but the space is that emptiness which is heating the walls of it, as well as that um, maybe small bit of the, uh, you can say, skin of mine, very small portion of it, which is heating the, uh, which is heating the uh, walls of the w bottom of the um, uh, of the cup. Again, maybe um, some of the scientists right now may agree with me because uh, when I am holding it, so I may say that I'm holding it by all of my palm. But scientists may agree with me that. When they go into the microscopic, uh, you can say, size, actually it's a very small portion of my skin is holding it. And the rest is occupied by that emptiness, which is actually, uh, which we call philosophically, uh, space. Now, there are two types of space. Space uh, of the relativity and the space of actuality. Okay, what is the space of actuality? So, my actual space right now, the uh, emptiness which is surrounding my body, that is the actual space of mine. But um, uh, space of the relativity is um, when my space in comparison with something else. So I am above the chair. I am underneath of the roof. I am on the right side of some certain thing or I am behind or on top, etc. Above all of them, are, we say um, a space of uh, relativity. Now, keep in your mind, one necessitates another. So, no any substance can have the space of the relativity if it does not have the space of actuality. Okay, so if you remember, the um, Mortezilla, when they were denying the space of God, okay, so they were using exactly the same statement. Okay, because even they say that Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib anhu, when he has been asked, if you remember, where God is. So what uh, response of Imam Ali was, he said, uh, um, where he was when he created this where. Okay, so then logic answer is, he was nowhere. Means, the thing which cannot have, so whenever, as soon as you will deny the actual space, I mean the space of actuality, you are um, necessarily denying the space of uh, relativity. Means, if he do does not have actual space, means he cannot be above, under, or on the right, or on the left. Okay, so one necessitates the other. But if you confirm one and deny the other, we say you are insane, or you are just being emotional. Because one necessitates the other. It is the same as to say, I am a son, but I do not have a father. 
So then how you can be son? Okay, you say what? That how? Okay, we say okay, Zindabad Haidari Ali. Okay, because it's not logic, it's not academical statement. So if you cannot describe the God by the space of actuality, you cannot say that he is above or underneath. For him to have for him to have that um, uh, space of relativity, first you have to prove the space of actuality. So for you to uh, prove the space of actuality, you have to prove that matter was pre-eternal, which Ibn Taymiyyah actually at the end of his time did accept because he came to conclusion that one space necessitates the other. Okay, so anyway, um, it, it was just again some footnote. So anyway, just keep in your mind, Ayn, which is the meaning concept of space, has two meanings. One is the actual space and one is relate, relatively uh, a space. So space of relativity. So one cannot exist without the other. As soon as you confirm one, you are confirming the other. So that is uh, all about the statement of uh, Ayn, the statement of uh, the space. Um, the next is the uh, uh, statement of the time. Um, I think we may have some questions. Um, if uh, if, if uh, uh, the brothers from uh, Dean Institute can uh, uh, read the question, please. I think we may have some questions. <clears throat> Okay, so the difference between two spaces. Look, it's very easy. Um, now, um, if you can just answer my question. I say, um, I say, um, uh, the meaning of, uh, the meaning of uh, love. Love. Uh, can you show me where love exists? So, answer, logic answer is it does not exist in this space. Okay? Because emotions are not something to exist in the space. But it is correct that it could be produced by some substance, but love does not exist in this space. Means, love cannot be above something or underneath or something. For example, I will say to you, my, I love you and that love that I have in my heart is underneath of uh, my legs actually. Okay, why? Because love does not have the actual space. So anything which does not have an actual space cannot have the space of the relativity. Okay, or I will say to you, it is a myth, myth, legend. Okay, now you show me where is the legend. Legend does not have a proper uh, space, you know, means I cannot say that it is a legend uh, on top of the throne or underneath of the chair, for example. Why? Because legend is something which does not have an existence in one space, means uh, the uh, space of actuality is not there, or space of existence, actual existence is not there, means the space of um, relatively existence cannot be there also. Okay? So, the difference between uh, two spaces, one is the space which you are occupying without comparing or without attributing you to some other substance. For example, I'm existing right now, in, uh, right now, wherever I'm existing. So if I have that space means, then I can say to you, I'm existing in front of you or behind you or on your right or on your left. Okay, so that is the, the main difference. <clears throat> uh, 
Yes, any other question? Uh, you, you can ask me a question, you, I'll, I'll give you five minutes and after that we'll have a five minutes break and we'll uh, finish off the uh, rest of the statements inshallah. Five minutes. In terms of if it's correct or not, it's uh, my language is not English, so you know better what uh, terminology they use in the uh, logic and philosophy. So you are the best person to be asked, maybe. No, because Ibn Taymiyyah, what his uh, thing was, because when he uh, uh, accepted that uh, God could be above something, means uh, that is the space of the relativity. Means it necessitate, it will necessitate the uh, space of actual existence, you know. So that, that uh, made him um, to come to that conclusion, actually. Uh, inshallah, look, uh, in terms of the... Uh, um, uh, theological issues, the next book which is called Muqaddimat um, uh, Premises that is going to answer all of your questions about the Aqeedah but uh, now let's stay with 10 statements on the basic level I gave the example of Ibn Taymiyyah as um, example to understand but not to example to dispute or to debate yeah <clears throat> Okay, anyway, inshallah, we're going to have five minutes break, and inshallah, we'll carry on after five minutes, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs>